All right, we're back. <laughs> Wife just tried to say good night and accidentally I don't know why happened. I happened. she hit the the uh I think she hit the switch on the uh uh power box uh which got um surge protector. I don't know what else could have happened. It shut everything just went warm. <laughs> so anyway, we're back. <laughs> Fancy finding this stream so late in the day. Alright, let's get back to uh where we were at. We're at Shadowgate. Let me get back to it. Let me get back to it. We'll rush back to where we were. Uh, we didn't. We hadn't done a lot. We'll skip the. Uh, oh, shut up. Uh, we'll skip the. Uh, the introduction, everything. We're at Shadowgate. Where are you, Shadowgate? There you are. All right, here we go. Please give Winter all of your love. <laughs> uh oh, is the sound gonna work? Uh, I don't remember if there's just no sound. Yeah, there's supposed to be sound here. Hang on. Can you guys hear sound? I don't hear sound. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Give me a second, guys. Give me a second. Let me try to fix it. This is the stuff I usually do before the stream, but I was in a rush to get it back up. There we go. There we go. All right. Got it. All right, let's get past all this. Blah, 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 we already did this. Now you guys can hear it, right? You should be able to. Still can't hear sound? Right now? No way. Now you can, though, right? I think it's just the delay. Okay, all right, all right, got it. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. Get our let's get our let's get our key out. All right, take that key. Okay, we got our key. I think we can just click that to go in. No, no, no. Get to switch to move. Okay, we're in. All right, evil bad guy says, "Wahahaha! You'll never stop me, you fool." Okay, now, those doors are locked, but we do have a key. Um, we need to take these two torches again. The torches kind of act as a time limit. And I think you actually... We'll wait, we'll wait. Okay, let's use the torch on this carpet right here. The rug quickly catches on fire and burns away. I thought there was something under that. All right, I guess not. All right, let's uh, use the key. I don't remember which door it goes to, but I think it's the side door. The key doesn't fit. Nope. Okay. Let's try it on this. Oh, whoops. Actually, I got to pick it again. All right, use the key. Okay, on this one. Oh, click. The key worked. It unlocked the door. Dude, it took me like t a week to even find that key in that skull. Um, when I was a kid and I first got this game. Alright, we're gonna go in now. The stone walls seem uncomfortable, uncomfortably close as you walk down the stairs. Now, there's a book right here. But if we, if we take that book, I'm pretty sure it will kill us. Um, however, we do need these torch. Wait, can I take the torch? I'm just now remembering something else. Torch is in hand. Okay, we can take that one. But I don't think we can take this one. See how it looks a little different? Oh, we can. Okay, was no, it looks different though. Look at it. It's separate. Look at that one. There is something out of the ordinary about this torch, but you can't put a finger on it. Okay. Also... Um, do you guys see that little brick over there? See this? I think you can... We just hit it. We just hit it. Aha! Thought so. The stone falls away to reveal a secret passage. Alright, let's go in there. Let's go to the secret passage. As soon as you enter the room, you see an arrow on the front wall. Let's take these torches. 
Oh, oh, this might have been what I was thinking about. Okay. These are stuck to the wall. Let's see if we can maybe pull on one of them, maybe. Nothing happened. Ah, oh, there we go. I thought so. Another hidden door, baby. There's a spiral staircase leading down. I think if we take this arrow, we'll die. I'm pretty sure, guys. I'm pretty sure that that's a trap. Okay, so let's go down here. Mm, you stand at the edge of a deep chasm. From the darkness below arise the screams of the undead. This cave is hewn roughly in the ch in the chasm's wall. Okay, we're gonna... Well, that one looks really bad, right? So we're gonna we're gonna move across the safe looking one. Oh wait, am I not on move? You can't do that. Why not? There we go. Oh, what's this? A wraith is standing in your way, barring your path. Uh oh. Yeah, we'll, we'll screen one wing link later, I'm in. It really was like that. There's actually a home video of me being like, I finally figured out how to open that door, Dad! He's like, okay, son, that's great. Alright, let's, uh... So remember that torch, the weird one? I think that's what this is for. What do you want to use this on? Alright, we want to use it on the wraith. I think this is right. You put the torch close to the wraith, but nothing happens. Oh, that wasn't it. Hmm. There must be more than one way to do it. We may not have what we need for this to kill this guy. Can I take the torch or will he kill me? Okay, let's take the other one. Maybe use a regular torch on him. My memory says you kill him with the torch. Oh, whoops. Okay, we're gonna use it on that guy. No, wait a minute. It's best if you don't do that. Okay, well that's not what we do. I think we should I think we should just get out of here and come back when we we you seem to be wasting your time. Oh, okay, I'm not trying to use that, I'm trying to move there. Okay. Alright, we don't know how to beat that guy yet. Alright, let's go back. Okay, let's go back. Cold air rushes into this chamber from an opening some ten feet above the floor. I'm I'm gonna try to take this, just see what happens. The arrow is in hand. Okay. Okay, let's go back. Throw a torch. Oh! I remember using a torch. I think you throw it. Uh... No, if you do hit and torch, it'll think you're trying to hit the torch. Um... I don't know. Oh, I do remember, I think. I, I think I just remembered. All right, let's go back down there. I think I remembered. I think what you have to do is you have to light that special torch first. Okay, so I think you have to use a normal torch on this torch. The torch burns with a strange white flame. Here we go. With a shout, you throw the flaming torch at it. With a blinding flash, the white flame engulfs the undead apparition. When you open your eyes again, the wraith is gone. We did it. Okay. And let's take whatever this is. The cloak is in hand. The cloak. I don't know if I remember what that's for. Right, let's try using the cloak. We want to use it on on myself. You try on the cloak and find it very unbecoming. It barely fits over your armor. It's gone now, though. That's on me. Okay. All right. Well. Okay. All right then. And there's a door. Let's see. There's two doors. Where's the other door? I don't see the other door. Let's see what's over there. It's a too high for you to reach. Oh, okay. You have to open the door before you can go through it. Okay. All right. All right, smart Alec. 
The door is open. Okay. Let's move through. Let's move through. <laughs> I remember this. This small stone chamber is lined on one side by two barred portals. All right, guys. First of all. First of all. <laughs> Who remembers this? <laughs> all right. I think these are. this is medicine or something. The bottle one is in hand. Okay. It's so hard to get your mouse on these little pixels. Here we go. The bottle two is in hand. I think this is a scroll or something. The scroll one is in hand. Okay, now let's look at these. It's a small silver bottle. What is it? It sure smells terrible. Okay. Bottle two. This small silver vial glows with a lustrous shine. You notice that the bottle is impossibly light. Okay, remember? Okay, okay. And then let's look at the scroll. It's an ancient leather-bound parchment. Let's open the scroll. The scroll one is open. Your hands begin to sweat because of your extreme excitement. Five defined. Three are one. One gives access. The bladed sun. The silver orb to banish below. The staff of ages to vanquish the foe. Joining two, the golden blade, the last to invoke, the platinum horn. Okay, there you go. Whatever, don't remember. But, I'm pretty sure. See this right here? There's a secret door. Can you see it? Oh, it didn't work. Um, let's just try to open it, maybe? You feel the ground shake as the rock moves slowly aside to reveal a secret passageway. Knew it. And also, I know about this, guys. I know about this, but I'm waiting. I'm waiting just a second. The cold water from the limestone drips on your neck, sending shivers down your spine. Um, we, we, we don't have what we need for this. We don't have what we need. Okay, let's go back to the other room. Okay. So, small room. Um, how do I do this? So the thing that's the secret here, guys, is Epor. Maybe if I just look at it, the sign reads Epor. So it's rope backwards. Okay. Speak. I oh, know. I'm trying to speak that. You seem to be wasting your time. No, I'm not. You say the word backwards. I just don't remember how to do it. Speak. Scroll. Which bit has to happen? Okay. Um. Let's look at the rope, maybe? It's a hemp of rope. Okay. Epor, Epor, Epor. You got it. It seems to be some kind of spell. You've learned one magic spell. Here we go. There it is. We did it. We did it. We did it, boys. How do we get to our... Uh... Spell. Here we go. Alright, so... Speak... Epor. The spell was chanted. Epor. There are many strange things in this world. When you said the magic spell, the rope moved. Having stretched up the hole, the rope stops moving. No, dude, I figured all this out as a kid between myself and, like, one friend I had that also had this game and liked it. Between me and Helm, we figured this whole game out back in the day. Um, so now I should be able to climb the rope. The room is full of mirrors. Reminds you of the El Elven Funhouse at King Otto's Fair. I, I don't have the item I need for this yet. Um, I'm still going to try something. We're going to take this... What is that? A broom, I think? The broom is in hand. Alright, we're also going to take these torches. Okay. I I'm going to try to smash one of these mirrors. I don't remember which is... Which to do, though? Nothing happened? Okay, I, there's an item I need. I don't have it yet. Okay, okay, alright, bro, I get it. Let's go back. This long, cold hallway is lined on either side by half a dozen coffins. There's some good ones and there's some bad ones, bro, and I don't remember which is which. That one's pretty fancy. The lid of coffin is open. 
As you open the tomb, a banshee flies out and emits an ear-shattering scream. You're all right, but it is very hard to hear. Oh, dang it. Wrong one. All right, what about this one? The lid of the coffin is open. A mummy stands silently before you. Um, I think... This game has been redone with, like, new graphics, by the way, guys. Available on Switch, Steam, PS5. It's like ten bucks. What do you want to use this on? I think you use a torch on it. Mummy bursts into flames, leaving behind a scepter among the ashes. Bam, baby! Bam! I'm remembering, son. Let's take that scepter. The scepter's in hand. Alright. Let's open this one. The lid of the coffin is open. Oh, what's that? Bag two? Let's, uh, let's open bag two. The bag two is open. Ooh, copper coins. Okay. Take all these copper coins. Okay, all right, there we go. Uh, okay, the broom. Okay, let's open another one. I feel like there's. Oh no, the lid of coffin is open. This green slime is quite disgusting. I don't know if now we might be trapped. You try to pass the slime, but it engulfs your body, dissolving it in seconds. Oh no, you die instantly. No pain, no nothing. You were slimed. I got slimed. No! It's a sad thing that your adventures have ended here. Alright, alright. Don't open that one. I thought there was one that you couldn't open. Alright, let's get back through this real quick. No, no, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Alright. So we're not going to open that one this time. But let's open the one we didn't open. This one. Oh, nothing happened. Hmm. Alright, so let's open all the others. Get our stuff back. Oh, whoops. That one you don't have to open. Okay, let's open this one. Alright, we got the mummy. I'm gonna burn the mummy. Burst into flames. All right, we're gonna take this scepter. All right. Okay, stop, stop, stop. I get it. All right, let's open this one. Let's take that. Oh, crap, our torches are running out. Let's use a new torch. Alright, there we go. Alright. Torches were almost out. Okay. Don't open that one. That one doesn't matter. Okay, we can't open that one. Okay, we got them all. We got them all. I do need to open the bag. Where's it at? There it is. Alright, let's take all this. Okay. Got it. Go back. It's Apple App Store for two ninety nine. It's fantastic. Are you talking about the remake, Shiro, dude? God is good. What's up, Grain? Yeah, we could beat it in about two hours. Yeah, I believe so. The stones in these walls were probably cut by the hands of enslaved mountain dwarves. Okay, we came from that door up ahead, um, I believe. The door is open. All right, let's see what's in there. You enter a cold room. The stench of flesh and, de and decay pervades the small chamber. You begin to shiver. This room is really cold. Okay, we don't have the things we need for this yet, I don't believe. And I think going down there kills you, if I'm not mistaken. Let's get these torches. All 
I'm gonna check though. I'm gonna try to open that door. I'm pretty sure we need to put something in there. Oh no, it opened. Interesting. Okay. Alright. Weird. <gasps> I remember this. Fear grips you as you enter this hot room. Do you see those eyes back there, son? I know what to do. First, we gotta take the shield. See the shield there? I'm gonna take it. The shield is in hand. Alright. Oh, dragon just spewed some fire at us. You raise your shield just in time to block the dragon flame. Okay, we can take a few things. But eventually we'll die, and I don't know how long we can go. I'm gonna try to take this axe. Oh, it's a hammer. We need that. Again, flame spews forth. Use the shield for protection. It's getting hot. You don't know how much longer you can stand it. Should I get the helmet or the spear? I think I can take one more thing. It's crazy you're playing Retro Not Fired Up Launchbox with all the 8 bit and 16 bit games. That's what I'm playing on Launchbox. I got all of them. All of them. All the 8 bit, 16 bit. Alright. The helmet is in hand. Again, Flame Spews Forth. You use the shield for protection. It's getting hot. You don't know how much longer you can stand it. Maybe I can do one more. Can I do one more? Got the spear. Again, Flame Spews Forth. You use the shield for protection. It's getting hot. You don't know how much longer you can stand it. Dude, I don't know if I can, uh... I don't know if I can try to open this treasure. It won't open. Okay. Um. Alright, let's... That's it. I don't care about those bones. And I don't care about that torch. Alright, so let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Okay. Go through it, bro. Let's just leave. Let's just leave. Okay, we got a helmet, we got a, uh... Um, now let's go back. Well, let's see what's in this door first. A shark swims by as if patrolling this calm pool. Alright. We can't get in. We, he, that skeleton in the water is holding a key, but we cannot get to that. We will die. So instead, we're gonna go. You have to open the door. Um, okay, bro. All right. Okay, we're gonna go through this door first. Water cascades over a subterranean cliff into a cool, clean stream. I feel like use the hammer on these rocks, maybe? Nothing happened. Something. Hammer. Maybe on this little piece. Nothing happened. Okay, well what I do know is we can go behind this waterfall. There's something. There's a way to break that. The walls of this room are much too close for comfort. The damp walls of this eerie cavern are rough and irregular. Okay, maybe I used the hammer on this. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. There is a way to break that, though. Nothing happened? Maybe I just hit it with my fist? You hit the rock as hard as you can. Yeah, I remember the water, yeah. Blue Shark falls down as it pins to the wall. Alright, there we go. Nice. Alright, what is that? Little bag. Bag one. Okay, let's see what's in bag one. Bag one is open. The bag contains three large jewels. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Look at the blue gem. It's a dark blue gem, so it's as big as a pommel of a sword. It's a fine red ruby. Its color reminds you of your adventure across the Sea of Blood. It's a white stone of unknown origin. A fine thing to gamble away in a good card game.
It is very dark. Oh, okay. No, no. Alright, we can move out of here now. Okay. There's something... There's something... Okay, let's go back and see. Okay, this is back to this room. Alright, let's go... Let's go back up through the coffin room. Okay. Now, we should be able to bust these open. Once again, I don't remember... Use hammer... Bellowing like some Norse god. You smash the hammer into the mirror. A door, right. Some of these are really bad, and I don't remember to open, but I don't remember which is which. Let's just go in the door for now. The door is locked. Oh. We don't have any more keys, do we? We only got that first key. Which probably don't work on it. But let's try anyway. He doesn't fit. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, well, I'm gonna try... ...to bust another door open. Uh, I mean, another, uh... ...another mirror. Pop up, just say goodnight if I actually paring off your computer. Good night, good night, Winter! Which must include all emus. It does include the emulators, or it gets them for you, so you don't have to download. So all you gotta do is get the game. And then when you put it in launch box, it's like, hey, do you want me to get the emulator for this? It does all the hard work for you. Okay, use hammer on this one. You've opened a magic portal into deep space. You are immediately sucked through. The lack of air causes you to quickly lose consciousness. The Grim Reaper quickly embraces you. No! I got lost one mob. Yeah, I'm really good at this game. I really am. I, I don't remember all the things. But trust me, this is a really good game. Uh, no, we have to call the experts witchers. They built... They built the, uh... Unfortunately, they built the dryer to where you can't work on it, right? So, like, they're screws, but they you have to take the entire front panel off. I'm going to end up breaking the whole thing. So, unfortunately... Good night, Click. Uh, so unfortunately, we we th well thankfully we've got insurance or uh, what do you call it a warranty. So um, we, somebody's gonna come out and fix it. There's no way I, I would break something for sure. All the all the they make things where you can't work on them anymore. It's BS. All right, guys, I, we got through all the requests. I believe I believe we got through all the quests. Good night. Uh, if you're going if you're going to sleep, good night. Click. Um. So. If you want to drop a new game, it's $2. Um, oh, I need to drop that in here while we're playing tonight. Since we had to restart the stream. $2 uh, super chat to pick any game on NES, SNES, Genesis, Jaguar, um, 32X, or N64. All right, let me post that and pin it. All right. And while we're waiting, I'm gonna pick some games. We can do the original Star Wars. I think this game is hard as crap. Let's 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 check it out. Star Tropics, that's a good game too. The NES is filled with just amazing games, bro. So many of them. Might have accidentally did that twice. No, nope, don't look like it. Alright, cool. Here we go. The original Star Wars game. I'm not going anywhere. You're stuck with... Okay, good, good. Play Star Tropics? Yeah, we may. We may. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Is there a game you actually want to demand me to play? I will play it. $2 Super Chat. But I'm also just taking regular requests. All right, here we go. Star Wars. But if you if Super Chat 2 bucks, I have to play it. Them's the rolls. Oh, look at that, dude. Look at that cutscene. No, I do have PlayStation, but I have many games on it. PlayStation games are way bigger files, so they're way harder to do. Um, purchased two droids from the J Jawas. One of them seems to have disappeared. <laughs> it's not my fault, sir. Please don't deactivate me. I told R2-D2 not to go, but he's faulty. Malfunctioning. 
He kept babbling on about his mission. Oh snap, I didn't remember it started like this. Okay, this is what I remember. I was like, oh my gosh. Okay, I do remember this. Alright, look at old Luke Skywalker, dude. Looks just like him. Okay, okay. I don't know what music they're going for here. Is it a hole? Can I fall down it? Nope. Okay. Oh my gosh! Go, 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 go! Okay, we got a gun. Select, maybe? Oh, I can switch to C-3PO? Oh, no, I can just talk to him. It's not my fault, sir. Please don't deactivate me. Let's start, dude, then. Okay, that just pauses it. Okay. Okay, here we go. Now we're in this. Uh... Oh my gosh. Can I shoot? Yeah, I don't remember this. Maybe I played it on Super Nintendo. I do not remember this. Oh my gosh, you can go fast if you want. Did I just shoot? No, somebody else did. I don't know. Whoa. Whoa. Aiden Chronicles. Oh boy. All right, it's up next then. Let's see what's in this cave. Right after a little bit of Star Wars, we'll do Aiden Chronicles then. Oh shoot. Maybe quicker than I thought we're playing Aiden Chronicles. Oh, oh. go through here? No. What's that? I just got a Millennium Falcon? Oh, oh, oh! Oh, man. Oh, man. Alright, let's do Aiden Chronicles. Let's do Aiden Chronicles. Woo! Aiden Chronicles, bro. I had this game. I bought this game back in the day. Alright, let's find it. There it is. Alright! Thanks for, the, thanks for the super chat, Tom Monarch. Aiden Chronicles time. One of the few RPGs released for the system. It's rough. It's a little rough. All right. Let's check these options. Sound, music, graphics. Yeah, we're going to leave it on normal. Uh, new game. Uh, we'll leave... Yep, yeah, that's good. Al... What's his name? Alaron. Yes, your majesty. Right away, your majesty. Why does the king always ask me to find the boy? I'm a cook, not a ranger. Alaron! 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 Hmm, let me think. When was the last time I saw him? Yesterday? Time to suffer, boys. This game is rough, dude. <laughs> That's what I remember. <laughs> Doing some kind of magic here. Uh, what? Sword? Now he's, now he's leaving. What's going on? Yes, all that happened yesterday. Oh, he's remembering what happened yesterday. But, well, where is he? I don't know, Sir Abri something. He's run off again, hasn't he? I don't know, Sir Abri can... Who can depend on this squire? Sir, I often depend on him. Naturally. But you're a cook, not a knight of the realm. Sir... You see? Another silly enchantment. Arrogant squire. 
Do you know how many swords he's ruined? And now he disappears into thin air. Better run away, dude. That guy's pissed. They were trying to make an epic RPG with this. Maybe it is epic. Maybe it is. I never got too, too far. Alaron, come out immediately. His permadeath, if I remember right, too. Elrond, Elrond, Elrond. Anything strange with him lately? Sir? Nothing odd in the kitchen? Any strangers coming around? Not that I've noticed. No, sir. I didn't even know this exists for console. Yeah, man, it's a real RPG. It's just, uh, I remember it being kind of rough and it has permadeath. If you, one of your people died, they're dead. For real. Goblins. All right, put a guard in the main hall. Yes, sir. And send someone into the library. Have a maid check the observatory and something. Magic in progress. Keep out. This means you. And question the magicians. But Sir Abercon, just find him. Magic still in progress. Don't make me ask you again. Just later in the face. Here to complain. Complain about what, Mistress Rita? About the boy. What else? Stealing spell books, losing relics. Oh, she's pissed. Just wait till I catch him. Dude, everybody wants to kill the main character. He's not very beloved. She threw fire at the cook's face. Let's hope the king doesn't hear about that. That guy's face. Alaron. Hmm, not with Abercon, not with Bowden, not with Godric or Rita. Of course. He's been in his room all along. <laughs> that fire effect. Hello, Alaron. Anybody home? Prince Sheridan. He's in the forest. The forest? Why on earth would he go there? One of the farmers is missing. He's gone to rescue the poor man. Alone? You know Alaron. The booba. Mystical Ninja was the only RPG I played for the 64. Mystical Quest sucked. This game is hard as crap from what I remember. Um... There was that one called Hybrid Heaven as well. That's an RPG. Hello? And Paper Mario. That was probably the best RPG on the system. Kindle? He must be out here somewhere. Kindle? It's me. Alaron. I spoke to your wife. She's worried. She hasn't seen you all morning. Come out, Kindle. Come out here now. Did you hear me? Hello? You out here? Okay. All right. Ooh, these frame rates. Ooh, it's running at a cool five frames. All right, we've got a healing potion. If required a potion, just like to push combat, press and hold the up C button for more info. Okay. Um, are you want to wish to drop? No, I don't want to drop the club. I just want to leave the menu. There we go. Yes, this is a good five frames per second. That's wonderful. All right. Let's see. Uh, is that a... No? Yes, the force is quite lovely, Yuli, but foolish do not be. Goblins roam the wood, and trouble there has been. Yes, so have I heard. What is it? Halloran? Hell and well met, honored Marari. How be you this day, pup? Well, are you? I am happy and I am well. Ah, oh, what brings you to the forest? What indeed? These woods are perilous. Goblins be the enemies of traitors and squires. Meanwhile, the king and all his knights are searching the castle for you. I haven't seen any goblins. Recently, they've been attacking caravans and traitors. Lucky are we to slip past with our spice, but our magic does aid us. Even still, we must move quickly. Take care, pup. The Edor... 
I have to find Kindle. Perhaps he is westerly? Or somewhere to the east? We are traveling from Telwalk. Telwalk? Where's that? Telwalk is the land to the south. South of the forest along the river. Is it far? Not for us. No, not for traders. Though we will be happy to see our homes in Aramon. Yes, indeed. In any case, we do not see your kindle along the path from there to here. He must be somewhere else. May you find him safely and quickly and before the king is too angry. Wait a minute. Is the king angry? Oh, you know the king. A hot temper but a kind soul. I see more than enough of his temper these days. Yes, pup. And who is at fault there? Hush, Yuli. Can't you see the boy is worried enough? Why don't you bring some spice? We are carrying his favorite. Pogrel. The royal ponies relish it. Um, is it expensive? For you, pup, a special price. Two gold pieces. I have one gold piece. Only one? Are you sure? This is a very fine pogrel. I know it's the finest, editor, but with one piece of gold, I can't do much bargaining. Very well, very well. We traders know what it's like to be a little light on gold, pup. Indeed we do. Suppose we shall be the one that a single gold piece will do. Thank you. And now I must find Kendall. He's to the waist? <laughs> he is. You're right. Be careful, pup. Trained you may be, but more than rats or bats you are not ready for. Kill you they will. Don't be in these woods after dark, pup. Oh, whoops. Too bad. Nice he was. All right. <clears throat> okay, we're headed to the east now. I don't even know if there's a way to move the camera. Giant bat begins. Oh, we're fighting. Okay. Let's see how the combat works. Aleron begins action. Uh. Uh. I'm trying to. Is that it? Can't get to him this turn. How do I. Okay, there we go. He attacked me. I avoided. He's attacking me. I avoided. Okay, how do I attack him? There we go. 16 down. Oh, I almost killed him. 20 damage. Oh, oh, that should have killed him. Okay, there we go. We won. Uh, minus 3 dexterity. Uh, did I level up, or? You need... Okay. XP remaining, 75 total. Okay. Is this stuff I found, or is this stuff in my inventory already? Oh, okay, okay, yeah, that's stuff I already have. All right. This is a weird one. I can only hope we encounter Noble Knight and Merlin. It's cold here. Kindle? Is that you? Oh, somebody's got an invisible potion, bro. A spirit! Oh, it was a ghost. <laughs> a new journal entry has been added. Okay. Oh, a hat! Kindle's hat! Okay. Alright, we found his hat. Can I wear it? Oh, I am wearing it. Oh, sweet. Okay. What the heck is this? Looks like some kind of portal. Okay, I'm going to keep going east. Oh, who's this? Yahoo! <laughs> this... <laughs> dude. <laughs> Look at his tiny little head, dude. Look at his tiny little head. A goblin! Fight now, human boy. That's kind of tall for a goblin. Where's Kendall? Kendall, go gone, human. Go where? What's his hat doing on the ground? Hat here. Him gone. Fight now. 
Uh-oh, more of them. What are you doing in the forest? Forest goblin country. No more farmer. No more trader. No more you. Now fight. Get out of my way. You go by. All right, if you insist. You go by after fight us. She sent us. Us? An ambush. Oh, crap. Now there's three. Oh, snap. Goblin prisoner begins action. No oh, snap, they're coming at me, son. Oh, he critted me. What? What happened? I can't see. It's just a scratch, but it burns. Oh, did he poison me? Welcome back to the world, Chop. What? You've been sleeping long? Where am I? This must be part of the story. Safe and sound. And well hidden. I found you in the woods. What you were doing there, I can't guess. It wasn't easy dragging you back to my hut, you know. You're her. You're the witch. Witch witch. What am I doing here? What are you up to? Your fears make you the fool, boy. I know all about you. We've all heard the stories. Stories? Bah. You shouldn't waste your time on them. I'm no witch. I'm the healer who saved your skin. But you, you gather herbs. All healers do. In this room, it's full of spices and flowers. They say, all healers grow flowers. I also collect herbs. How else can wounds be stopped? Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna freaking burn this lady at the stake for being a witch. She's just a freaking, she's a healer. Shall I quit collecting herbs for people? No. Oh. Then shall I send you back outside? Believe me, you've slept helplessly for hours. If evil is my intention, I've had several opportunities. But lady, Oriana. What's Oriana? My name is Oriana. Yeah, idiot. That's one of my, the old names. I think it suits me. We still don't know who you are. Me? I'm Alaron. Thank you for helping me. Think nothing of it. Nothing at all, young. Alaron. All right, all right. I'll try to remember. Now, what were you doing in the clearing? I was walking. I remember that. I went from the castle. Go on. I ran to the forest. I saw the hat. <laughs> Dude, we remember. This just happened. A hat. I thought I saw a woman in the trees. Maybe it was you. Everything is hazy, but I think there was a woman. What woman? There were goblins, and something hit me. I'm feeling dizzy. You must think Colonel Sanders is a witch, yeah. Kingsfield? I don't know if it was on one of those systems. I think it was... I think it was... Kendall. It's me. What is going on? Where are you? It's a dream? Hello, Squire. Who are you? A friend. Boy, here? Lost he. I'm looking for someone. Lost you. Fell you. Pay no attention to them. They're perfectly harmless. Kill you. Die soon. Okay, they don't seem harmless to me. They're just trying to show you they like you. Kill. Die. I don't think they like me. Shh. You say you're looking for someone? Yes, a friend. You're sure? One of the village farmers? You think he left his house? You think maybe he came this way? Be honest, Squire. Since when do farmers leave their homes? Are you sure that's what you're looking for? Weren't you really sick and tired of waiting around in that castle? Die! Kill! See? They like you. Tell me what you want here, Squire. You can trust us. Why chase after farmers while your own dreams sparkle just within reach? I have to help them. Forget the farmer. He's unimportant. But you, I think you've lost yourself in looking for your own path through these woods. Where's my friend? What's going on? Stay here with us. Kill. Die. Yes. 
Oh, what do we got here? Yes, friend. You'll stay with us. Oh my gosh, what the heck is that? <laughs> Forever! <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a female. Kingsfield is PS1. Well, oh, I think you're right. Yeah. And Japanese only. Uh, this is the Nintendo 64 Zucan. This was uh, uh, one of the few RPGs that came out on it. Hello, Alaron. Kendall's dead, isn't he? Some moments are best forgotten. But is Kendall dead? Yes, the goblins killed him. I was hoping you wouldn't remember any of it. But, his, but this vision you've just had. What happened? One moment we were talking and the next. I watched your face. You saw outside this place. You mean a dream? More a vision. Did it frighten you? A little? Well, it frightened me. You were awake the whole time. You sure that's what it was? I know no other explanation. When I lived in Oramon, I heard of Mirari legends about dreams, but in your case, there must be some spell or poison in you. A special poison beyond my healing. Did the attacking goblins cast an enchantment on you? Or something worse? We fought. I lost. That's all there was to it. No, they poisoned the arrow, dude. Maybe you should go back to the king. The wizards of the castle might be able to do something. Given the fact that you aren't exactly at home in the forest, I have cast a Pathlight spell for you. What makes you think the wizards of the castle may be any help? Their powers are well thought of. You're being polite. Everyone knows the castle mages are all fools, all of them. Geshema knows the ways, but she's Mirari. Don't you get along with the magicians in Guernia? I get along, but they think they know everything. Just follow the string of lights outside my hut and it will lead you to the road. I'm sure you can find your way from there. Thank you. I think you're right. Be sure to tell the healers there what's happened. I will, Oriana. Is there anything you might be able to teach me? If you wish. Okay, show me. Oh, she can make me a healer? Oh, you spend your XP. I mean, yeah, I need to be able to heal. 800, do I have that much? Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. Sword? Not teach further than that skill. Okay, I think we're done then. So I've got a heal. Okay, let's follow the lights. Can you collect them as you go? Oh, nice. Not bad. Okay. Pretty good sound effects. I mean, this is not as bad as I remembered. Actually, I could play this. I, I don't remember if the story's bad, if, I mean, so, you know, it's hard to take it seriously with the graphics these days, but it's not bad, actually, so far. I could do this. Fentanyl's a hell of a drug. Look, sister, it's that squire. Good day, honored Marari. Pup, how are you doing? What are you doing here? There's something I need to ask you. Have you met a woman named Oriana? Yes, pup. We know her well. Years ago, after a goblin raid, she needed healing. We stepped in when stepping was needed. A woman wise and knowing. Some say she sees the fusion and reads a page of what will come. Why do you ask? I've met her. Where? You've seen her hut? I had my own encounter with the goblins. Oriana tried to rid me of their poison. And? She failed. This is a serious failing. But Oriana knows magic, doesn't she? We can say nothing more about Oriana. This is a promise the Mirari made years ago. Hmm. Call the wind or move those trees. Uh, are there Mirari who still serve the dragon? Are there? What a question. And he has so many. You amaze us, pup. And you know more than needs to be known for a mere boy. Please go wisely. Alright, well, I'm really done. Not far from here, I saw a gate made of stone. It was enormous. You've seen the portals. Oh, yes, and you know that these are magic places. Then the portal's distance stops. As does time, one travels from this someplace far out, unweighted in an instant. The workings of a powerful spell long ago, blah, blah, blah. blah. There's an entrance uh, next. They were traveling near and far. Yeah, it's it's instant travel. I get it. At times, they would choose guess. Is there any other way to use the portals? No, their magic is too strong. Unless, unless I'm a sorcerer too, right? Not exactly. It said that if the portals match, one has laid a field hand. Yeah, if you unlock both of them. This passage as well. He may fly between the two. Thank you. 
Okay. Yeah, I think they're gnomes, yeah. Sid Meier pirate vi map vibes, yeah. I can see that. The frame rate is really bad. That's probably its main issue. Okay, I don't know. This way, I think. I don't see more lights, but... Oh, what's this? A healing potion? Nice. I even going the right way still? What's that? Yay, some gold! Okay. I think I might have went the wrong way. But let's get this. 75 gold. Okay, let's go back. Needs a PC remake? Yeah. To run smoother, yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is the way. Alright, we're almost back. We're almost back at the castle. I think right across this bridge, I believe. Visually bizarre even in the 90s. Yeah, I agree. I thought it was going to zone. Can you actually read this sign? To Guernia. Alright, we'll follow the road. Alaron, at last, the king is beside himself with worry. He knows I was gone. And here's the other thing. This game came out after the Dreamcast is already out, if I remember correctly. Good night, Tetsu. He knows I was gone? Of course he knows, Squire. You've done. You've been gone several days. Where have you been? I was ambushed by goblins. They poisoned me, but Oriana helped me. She couldn't cure the poison, though. Poisoned? Curse those foul goblins. That woman in the woods helped you out, you say? Hmm, I'm not so sure I trust her. How do you know she didn't make things worse? She didn't. Besides, I'm sure I would know if she tried anything. If you say so, I'm telling you, she helped me. Yes, yes, I believe you. We've been scouring the woods looking for you while you've been visiting crazy old ladies. I guess she's harmless enough. In any case, the king wants you back at the castle right away. So stick to the road and don't dawdle or Abracon will have your hide. Did you hear me? Yes, don't worry. We'll all stop worrying once you get back to the castle in one piece. I'll run ahead and alert everyone in Guernia. Maybe someone can check on that poison for you. Okay. Good. Now don't delay. Yeah, if they would have just done these graphics in a way where it ran at a smooth frame rate, this might have actually been a, a, a big hit, especially since there wasn't almost any RPGs on the 64. It said Night Leap. <laughs> All right. The rats are coming for me. Look at them with their weird polygons, dude. So weird. All right, attack them. <laughs> Why the, the rat was like, Rup. <laughs> it's not a rat sound, dude. Maybe in this world. <laughs> Listen when I hear them. It's like, <laughs> I was not expecting the sound effect when I hit them, dude. Oh, oh, I blocked. Oh, man, I'm good at avoiding attacks, apparently, at level one. Dang, son. I'm untouchable. Okay, listen. <laughs> it just looks unfinished. It does, yeah. Agreed. It looks like a prototype, yeah. Okay, hit that right again. Okay, now that was a little better. 
that sound effect was a little better. Ah. Ah. So I got plenty of health. I got plenty of health. I got lots of potions too. You gotta remember when this game launched, Final Fantasy 7, 8, and 9 were already out, right? Ah! The Dreamcast was out, like, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm almost positive that the Dreamcast was out when this came out. Best thing 64 could do. Yeah, they should have, I mean, it, it, I don't know. I, I think it's a really big game, too, and they had to fit it on the cartridge. I think that's why things look weird. I think that was a necessity. To, from what I... From what I remember, this is a really long, big, big game. Beast hide. Oh, I don't want to drop it. No! Oh, I just dropped it. Okay. Alright, let's keep following the road. Oh, look! Rain effects! So they were, like, trying to do crazy stuff in this game. Can you guys see that? You can barely make out the rain falling. You can see the little dots on the ground. Interesting. They were trying to do big things. With what at this time when this came out would have been super outdated hardware. I hated this game. Oh, lightning, nice. Hang on. Can you actually... You should talk to these people. It's the frame rate so bad. Hello, friend. Excuse me, I'm in a hurry. What's been going on in the forest? Let's see. Uh, oh, yes, I think it's supposed to rain. I see. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's a shimmy type conversation right there. <laughs> What's been going on in the forest? I think it's about to rain. I see. Thank you. Goodbye. All right, more rats to kill. Get that XP. Uh, we're even are. I can't see where the rats are. Is that? Oh, that's them way up there. I see. Oh, that was just teleported. Ooh, big hit. Seventeen damage, son. Golden eye, yeah. The proportions, yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, agreed. There's just something weird about it. You know, like these rats, why did they why did they make them so long looking, you know what I mean? Like it looks weird. That rat's almost dead. There's a noticeable lack of real music, too. You know what I mean? This is like Final Fantasy Tactics, but much worse. Roar! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he ran away. Or he's trying to run away. I don't think so, buddy. I'm chasing you down. Gosh, I wish I knew how to turn the camera around. Is he just going to stay right out of my range? There we go. Hit him. We almost got him. He's trying to get away. I think we might got him. I think we got him here. Oh, come on. I should be able to hit him from here. That's nonsense. He's gone. He's gone. We've got 300 XP. Uh, I have 15,000. I can't bring up strength yet. Yeah, I don't have enough for anything. Okay. Okay, take that beast hide. I kind of want to see the city, at least. Pumpy Statue was a great game. This is nothing like it. Yeah, I think he was joking. He was, he was definitely joking. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, we're gonna get to the city before we quit. I wanna see what the city's like. I mean, I'm not lying. I if I if I was really desperate, I would play this game. Did they send you to talk to me? Did they? What are you talking about? Nothing, nothing. Move along, son. What the heck? All right, here's the first little town. Oh, the frame rates are really bad, dude. Hello, friend. Well, what's this dreary? Are you lost looking for your nurse? I like how all the men look exactly the same. What's been going on in the forest? With well, some of the travelers are playing a big party for the moment you leave. Oh, thanks anyway. What? Is that like a was he like was that like a jab at me or something? There, there's the guy, right? Excuse me, sir. You seem a young man of purpose. What can I do for you? I was wondering if you would tell me what it's like to stay in guard. <laughs> it's hard work, but worth it. I protect the likes of you from the goblins and minions. I appreciate your thoughts. <laughs> Shouldn't that guard know me? Aren't I like a prince or something? Alright, we're about to switch games, guys. Let's go up into the castle. This is called Ayudan Chronicles. It was on the Nintendo 64. It came out late in the life. A lot of people don't know about it. It's one of the few RPGs. We're, we're about to move games, though. Fable would have been like it was carved from a potato. <laughs> Alaron, you're back. It was called Ayudan Chronicles, D Diva. We were just ready to set out again, weren't we, Sir Abracum? Set out? The king is beside himself. The farmers say there are goblins in the forest. Is it true? And monsters? We've heard all kinds of rumors. The king has ordered ev everything and everyone to go after you. I'll speak to him right away. Alaron, let me speak with you first. Not only has the king ordered a search, he's also asked all travelers on the road to look for you. Despite the warnings of monsters and goblins, farmers have left their fields. Magicians have been asked to consult the stars. Right now, my best knights are all out in the wilderness searching. All because you took it into your head to play hero! It wasn't like that. I didn't mean to worry you. You've been gone for days. I'm sorry, Abercon, but I didn't plan on an attack. Attack? When were you attacked? Look, I'm in no mood to explain. I think he's crying at this part. It's not the rain. There's those real tears. Wait. Prince Sheridan claims you were looking for someone. Far be it from me to argue with Sheridan. Aloran. We just want to know what happened. Stop crying. The goblins, they attacked. An ambush. I was in the woods. Not far from here. Kendall is dead. If this is true, we must tell the king. Prince Sheridan? Run to the training room. Tell Treyhern the boy is safe. Have him call off the search. But Sir Abrican, do as I say. Can I go now, please? <laughs> Stop right there, squire. And start explaining. The goblins were too strong for me, sir. Naturally. They attack in groups. How could you hope to fight them all? I don't know. They have patrols. They move at night. Everyone out there in the forest is afraid. They're horrible, Abracon. Enough of that. So you found Kendall and... Then what? You escaped on your own? There was a healer, gathering herbs. She stumbled across me. What healer? I've been all through this castle looking for you. I've spoken to everyone. No one's seen you for days. She isn't a castle dweller. She lives in the clearing by the edge of the forest. Her name is Oriana. What's the matter? Oh, he said that. What's the matter? Nothing. You don't believe any of this, do you? Just finish the story. It's not a story. It's the truth. Nobody believes me ever. Oriana dragged me out of the woods and back to her hut. She cast a spell. But she couldn't cure you? No. She said ordinary herbs were useless. You must go to the throne room. I'll be all right. I feel like that was supposed to be that, that dramatic. Huh? Prince Sheridan? What's that? Oh, yes. Yes, Sir Abercan? If you please. Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. Training room. Training room. Yes, yes, yes. Right away. 
Did he told you to do that like 10 minutes ago? We'll tell the king. We'll find Gashina and speak to her. And we'll ask Bowden what to do next. Flipbook animation with the frame rate. Yeah, it's worse. Shine the Darkness is also good, but took forever to get into. Yeah, Shine the Darkness is great. Shining the Holy Ark, the sequel to that on the Sega Saturn, is a freaking gem. It's a freaking gem. All right, guys. I think I've had enough of this. Um, this game, I, I mean, I could see myself playing. Like, if I had a 64 and that was the only console I had and I liked RPGs, I would have put up with this. But I, the reason I didn't put up with it back in the day is because I had a Dreamcast. I had other systems, and I got it. and was just kind of like... Yeah, this ain't worth my time. I played pretty far into it, though, because I had a party. I remember I had a party of people, at least. I remember I got that far. All right, well, guys, give me one second. I have got to use the bathroom. I have drank this whole Coke. Let me go potty. I'll be right back. If you want to drop a a, a, a a super chat for some, you know, new games to play, any Nintendo Genesis, Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, Turbo Graphics, or Jaguar, or 32X. I don't remember if I said that. I've got the games... All the games are released in America for those consoles, ready to roll. Uh, but give me a second, guys. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. For only $1 Super Chat, the Nathan Napalm can feed a puppet for a day. MMO Cop can ticket one cash shop. And Plant Man can get out of one more chore. Please consider supporting this channel and this stream with a Super Chat and help Nathan survive another day. I'm back. All right, let's get out of this game. Let's see what else we got. Um, let's go back to something old school. Let's show off some stuff maybe nobody's ever seen. Let's go to 32X. Um, this this was not a uh, a very pop. Oh, Blackthorn came out on this system. Interesting. There was a Spider-Man game. Um, BC Racers. Let's see if we find something good here. Metalhead, NBA Jam, Primal Rage on the 32X. Interesting. Soul Star. I think I remember this was supposed to be good. Let's let's see what this is all about. Let's see what this one's all about. The 32X, man. The the I'm already playing. Oh. Oh, this game must have not released. This must be a prototype. Okay. Or did this actually release on a different system at some point? I feel like I remember this name. It's one of these Space Harrier type shooters. Except we don't get the sense of motion. Oh my gosh. Is the green good or bad? Okay, it's bad. Get that one. I can't go low enough. All right. Oh, come on. I'm only hitting that one. Oh, got to hit on my bunch. That's why. Or 
maybe you can't kill those. Oh, I did blow one up. Oh, level two. Oh, is that big starship back there shooting at me? I like how that ship actually got closer. That kind of looks good for the back in the day. Back in the early 90s. I do have Star Fox 64. Alright. Uh, yeah, it's a prototype, and that's the end of it, apparently. There's a few of those on here. I do want to show you guys this, because... I don't know if you guys remember this game, Star Wars Arcade, but I believe the only way to ever play this was on the 32X. I don't think this ever launched on anything else besides Arcade. Do you guys remember this game? This game is freaking epic. 1994. Like, obviously it looked way better in the Arcade. Let's see how good of a port it was, because I actually did play this in an arcade a lot. I like, I love this game. Let's press start. Long time ago, and I'm right far. pilot, stand by to receive orders. <laughs> that was kind of cool. All right. Wipe out enemy fighters. Okay, how do we shoot? Okay, there we go. Okay. I think there's a lock on, if I remember. Okay, radar. I can figure out how this works. There we go. Can you turn around? Is there like a quick... There's another one down. Slow down, how do you slow down? Back, maybe? I'm trying to slow down, I don't know how. Okay, there's another one down. <laughs> I heard r 2 d 2 squiggling, dude. I don't know how to slow down. For the for the 32x, not bad. All right, now what are we doing, folks? What are we doing? What are we doing? Um, let's go up another classic here. Let's go up another banger. Back to the Future. That game sucked, if I remember right. Uh, Bard's Tales on the NES. I didn't remember that. Battle Toads. Ooh, that game's hard. Beetlejuice. Big Nose, I don't remember that. NASCAR, Bionic Commando, that was a classic. Bill and Ted, we played Blaster Master tonight. Um, 
Boyness Blob was a good one. I don't really remember that game too well. Cabal. Was that one of the ones? What was that one that Witcher was talking about? Let's find that one. There's the original Contra. Uh, what was it called? Start with a J. G-H-I. Come on, come on, come on. J-J-J. There it is. Jackal. Let's try out Jackal. Primal Rage on the Nintendo? Oh, you mean on th on the 32X? Yeah, we, we could try that on 32X. I had it on the Genesis back in the day. You still there, Witcher? Yeah, Jackal. I actually didn't own this game, but somebody had it. I want to say it was my cousin's neighbor. They were like teenagers. They had a crap ton of Nintendo games, like tons of them. And they had like a little gamer station in their basement. And they didn't really care about us because we were little kids. So they would just like, they would go do their own thing and they would just leave us in their basement to play Nintendo games all day. And I'm pretty sure that's where I played this game at. And I swear I remember it in arcade too, but I might be wrong. You can blow, oh there's where you can blow it up. Oh dang it. Well, didn't know about that thing. Maybe it's the other button. There we go. I remembered that. Oh! I think you can only shoot forward, though. Just gotta be strategic about it. Pretty good music for the Nintendo, too. Okay, cross the bridge. Oh, watch out for the boat. Oh, dang it! Should've known that was gonna happen. Oh gosh, these tanks suck. I remember these. I'm just gonna try to skip him. Ooh, a helicopter. Oh, dang it. It's gonna get rough. Oh! Got that one. There it is. Oh, another tank. Oh, snap. Oh, snap! Dang it, dang it, dang it. Was that my last life? Nope. Do you go in here? I don't think so. I think we're coming up on the boss, aren't we? Yep, yep. Crazy to remember stuff like that. Oh my goodness. Oh! Shoot. Okay, he's turned red. Oh! Oh no, we're trapped! Oh, that felt like that felt kind of like Pac-Man getting stuck. This game being hard, yeah, for sure. I'm gonna try one more time. There's a lot of beginner mistakes there. Oh dang it! No, can't believe the little dude got me. If I save up my missiles, I wasn't even using those on those big tanks. I don't know how many I have. Let's not let this guy get me this time. Just gonna skip him. this time. We're doing way better. Okay. 
Here's the boss. I can't remember if you can shoot those helicopters down or not. Alright. Oh no, it only shoots that way, dang it. Wasted one. <laughs> no! No, it shoots it whichever way I'm pointing. Oh my gosh, it's hard! Oh my gosh, trying to aim at him to get that off sucks. That's hard. What kind of combat Vito is destroyed by a single bullet? Suppose that is that they're rocket launchers? I assume so. I can't stand flashbacks. Alright, what else we got here? Uh, yeah, let's try out let's try out Primal Rage on 32x. I've never seen it. That was a cool game, or at least I thought it was back then. It should be better than the Genesis version at the very least. It should be the upgraded version. Okay. Difficulty, we're turning that down. Turn out. Okay, it might be too easy. Alright. Gore switch? Let's make sure the gore's on. Okay, it's on. Alright. Okay. Arcade game. Uh, Vertigo, Talon, Sauron, Chaos. Oh, I think I liked him back in the day. Diablo, Blizzard. Oh, I like Blizzard, too. Let's try out old, uh... Armadon. Rage. I mean... I feel like it looks exactly what I remembered it looking like on the Genesis. We may have to go try the Genesis after this to see the difference. Maybe it's running smoother. It does seem like the frame rate's fairly good for this game. Maybe the characters are a little bigger than they were on the Genesis, actually. It's been a long time since I played on the Genesis, but that's what I'm... feeling like. Too bad they didn't do a Mortal Kombat release on the 32X. Got him. Armadon wins. I like this at the end when here in a second when I beat him again, it'll be like, finish it. <laughs> Rage. Rage. I feel like the 32X can do a little better graphics than this, though. Like, they're all the exact color, you know what I'm saying? Like, the color palette on each one kind of sucks. I feel like it could have done way better. This looks like what I would expect on, like, a Super Nintendo. Oh, it didn't do the finish it. I definitely don't remember no fatalities. Is that how brutal this game is? Yeah. Yeah, I like this game back in the day. This was one my arcade didn't have, so I only really played the home port that I had on Genesis. And I might have had a friend that had it on Super Nintendo, maybe. I don't remember. But I've never played this version for sure. You can eat the people somehow. I don't remember how you do it. To get health back. Remember, you can eat the little cavemen. They, like, worship you. The better you're doing the fight, the more will worship. See, see, they're starting to worship me, the green ones. Ooh, nice. It's like his uppercut, I think. It's like their heart, and their health is like their heart. When it gets to the end, there the heart explodes. That's a that was a good idea. Rage. Quit 
running from me. Come get what you got. Come get what you got coming for you. Talon. What's up with that chart? Oh, he's it's because the time's running out. Oh, okay. Okay, I won. I won. Dang, he was running from me the whole time. Rage. I like this guy too, Blizzard. He was fun to play. Sub Zero move. Oh, snap. He's getting me, he's getting me. Oh, crap, oh, crap. Got him. Yeah. Got him. Animations are kind of cool, especially on his. It seems like it should have more voice voiceovers, doesn't it? Okay, everybody got a good look at what it looks like on the 32X. Let's uh. Let's go look and see what it looks like on the Genesis. Let's compare if if this was an upgrade or not. All right, everybody got a good look at that. Let's go look at it on the Genesis. I want to see how much better they did porting it to the 32X, which was supposed to be a big upgrade, right, for the Genesis. Let's get down to the P's. Okay, Primal Rage, where are you? Did I pass it? There it is. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Now we can compare them back to back. This will be good. I think the arcade version had more voice. Maybe I did play an arcade then. For me to think that. Same game on the Sega Genesis. Okay, let's pick our man Blizzard here. It's like, this thing's got all the people. Oh, yeah. It was a pretty big upgrade, yeah. I can. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, it was a really big upgrade on the 32x. Look at this. Yeah, the the sprites were way bigger. For one thing. Okay, now I'm playing on normal, getting my butt kicked. Let's see if I can remember how to do the freeze. Okay, it's not the same as Sub-Zero, so I'm not sure. Got him. I swear on the Genesis said finish it, though. I'm gonna see if it did. Did it even say Rage at the beginning? Yes, it does. I think it says finish it on the Genesis. I really have memories of that anyway. Otherwise, I must have played this in arcade and forgot. remember how to eat the people. Dang it! Kick my butt! I don't even know how to block, bro. Come on, get him. Oh! No! Get him, get him, get him, get him! I got him! He didn't do it. Huh. Alright then. Yeah, it was on Super Nintendo, too. Yeah, way more blurry. Sprites are a lot smaller. So it was a pretty good upgrade for the 32X then.
All right, what are we doing next? Um, Dark Water. Do you guys remember that? I don't know if I ever played this game, but I remember the comics. Let's see what's up with that. Pit Fighter came out on the Genesis? I didn't know that. Uh, Nintendo 64? No, I don't think so, dude. I, there was uh, Killer Instinct. Killer Instinct was on the 64. I don't know if I ever really played the 64, but I did play that version. It was based off of an arcade a bit. Iguana makes this game. Does anybody remember this? Aladdin on the Genesis is really good. Uh, I think it's a little better on the Genesis, but Super Nintendo version is good. Uh, they're two totally different games, though. Um, they're similar, but they were made by different people, and they are very different. Choose a hero? Who's Tula? Are they going to show me what they look like? Okay, here we go. Tula, the girl. Yeah, we'll go with the girl. I had a few of these comics. Oh, this looks pretty good. Uh, whatever. Pretty good graphics. Oh, wow. What do you expect to pick them up and throw them? Did I just die? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Climb up those, all right. Got an elevator. Ah, dang it. Are we saving these guys? Some health. I like that effect on the bridge. That's pretty cool. It's simple, but it works. Oh, dang it. What's that? Did we beat that level? Ooh, chicken bone. Eat that chicken leg that just fell off some dead body. Nothing more classic than eating a chicken leg off the ground. Oh, what do we got here? Fancy. Hey. Oh, can we cut that down? Nope. You know, this feels like a crappy version of Aladdin. That's actually what this feels like. Treasure chest. Streets of Rage! Yeah, Streets of Rage 2. I never played Streets of Rage 3. Streets of Rage 3, but yeah, Streets of Rage 2 is the one most people played. Oh my gosh. Alright, alright. I think we've seen enough of this. It's not bad. It reminds me of Aladdin. Alright, yeah, let's do some Streets of Rage. That's a really good idea. Alright, Streets of Rage. Ooh, Spider House. That was a good game. Here we go. Streets of Rage 1, 2, and 3. Alright. 2 was the one everybody played. Oh, Connelson Game Boy with the Genesis version is the same. Yeah, we could try it out here in a bit. What was one game where you were a giant monster? Yeah, Rampage, yep. That one's on several systems. Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, I'm pretty sure. Being my main man here, Axel. I used to be really good at this game when I was a kid. 
I had this game on the Genesis. I had it on the Game Gear. I remember I would bring my Game Gear to school secretly because we weren't allowed to have it. But really, it was just to play it on the bus. Play Streets of Rage 2 on the bus. Or if I was going to my grandma's house after school. So I could have a, play some Streets of Rage on my Game Gear. And I thought I was some fancy stuff, boys. Oh, well, that, that wastes my energy. My jump kick game on. This is a really good music for the Genesis. This was probably the best of this kind, like beat 'em up ever made, to be honest. Boom! Ooh, get that food. Got an apple out of the trash. Perfect. Delicious. Crash apples. Oh, knife, sweet. Pick it up. There we go. Like a little mini boss, I think. Come on, get up, dude. Oh, oh, he's got a big fight. No! There we go. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, messed up. Messed up. I think they can throw it too. Oh snap! He's charging with it. Got him. He's gonna come back. Wait for him. The cars come flying at you, or am I thinking of a different game? I feel like I feel like there's cars that come flying at you. Maybe it's a different game or a different card. Okay, mini boss. That might be the real boss, actually. Boom! Ah! I'm gonna take care of that little goon first. Come back. Dang it! There we go. There we go. Drop that knife, son. He's got a lot of health. Oh, missed! No, I didn't mean to pick up the knife. Oh, I would have got him if that knife wouldn't have been there. Almost got him. Come on, I don't want to waste a life on the first level. Boom, son. Woo. Pretty good. Uh, 
I think I played this in the arcades. Uh, man, we had a beautiful game in childhood for us. This was new and fresh, exciting times. Yeah, heck yeah. Streets of Rage, though, was more consistent in Final Fight. I agree. Does Lunchbox support Sega Saturn? It does, but I haven't put anything on here yet. But I will. I'll eventually get an entire Sega Saturn library, too. Oh, I thought I got full health after I beat a, a level. Guess not. It's gonna be rough. Be really careful. Woo! A lot of bad guys. Oh! They're surrounding me. Can't get away. Oh my gosh, too many of you. Uh, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Uh, it's getting rough. I got like no help. No, 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 I messed up. Okay, that works, that works. Oh, no, oh, they got me. Got three lives left. Money. You still alive, dude? So if you see this effect right here in these old games where it's like all pixelated. On a CRT that looks see-through. It looks totally different on a CRT. So they weren't... It was an effect they used to do back then, but on a CRT it looked beautiful. But on a HD screen like we're seeing it, it eh, looks a little not as cool. I remember her. She's gonna whip, right? Yep. Electra. Can I bust up this piano? No. Ooh, she was about to get me with that whip. I just about know when they're coming back. I played this so much as a kid. I don't even have to see her. I know when she's gonna pop back up. That's crazy. Got her. No, 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 no. I thought I did. Why is her health back full again? They gotta beat her twice. Alright, we'll do it again. I think it's at no no, there we go. Now she's dead. Oh, look at the rain effects here. I thought this was just the coolest looking thing ever. I would uh, rent this on my Sega Genesis quite often back in 1991. The water effects in Dragoon were, oh my gosh, yeah, I agree. Especially uh, Panzer Dragoon 2, Spy. Uh, oh my gosh, that one level where that monster's jumping in and out of the water, dude, it looks so freaking good, it's insane. Especially on a CRT, dude, it looks gorgeous. I'm still pretty good at this game. I didn't even put it on easy mode. I'm probably about to die now that I said that. But I've been doing good. Mm. Go, 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 go. There's probably some health in these, but I'm gonna save it. I'll take it. It's a big chunk of health right there. Oh no, you punk. Okay, let's see if there's any health in here. Yep, a whole chicken dinner in the trash, boys. My favorite chicken dinner, right out the trash. Oh my gosh. There we go, there we go. Barbon. Almost dead, almost dead. 
Ooh, snappy block. Okay, he's health back. That that's just how bosses work, I forgot. No places like Blockbuster. Oh, me too, dude. I miss those days. We had a family video, uh, a couple of them here in Wisconsin. And so my kids got to experience going to the video store and renting video games and renting movies. They shut down now during COVID, but um, before the pandemic, dude, we, my, my kids got to live that life. I was so happy they got to see that. They, that was like a good memory for them, you know? They still talk about it. You know it's clean because it's raining. <laughs> it's, right, right, of course. Oh, this is such a good game, guys. This is a good suggestion. I love this game. All right, level three, boys. Let's get that gold bar. I don't, I don't know if I want that knife or not. Gosh, this game is so good. Oh, the motorcycle guys. Oh my gosh, they will tear me up. I used to know the positioning for them, but I definitely don't remember it now. Oh man, I remember these guys. They'll rip right through you, dude. Playing this game on two player back in the day, heaven. Oh, oh crap, get down, get down. Okay, we survived the second assault from the motorcycles. Oh, bar, nice. You can knock them off their bike. Ah, oh, you're fast enough. No, give me that bar. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm not going at all. A war with you with that. Alright, let's see if we can get him out. Boom! Woo! Woo! Oh, get down! Oh gosh, get up! Oh no! They're tearing me up, dude! This is the part! I got him, I got him! Oh, snap. Here we go again. There. Gotcha, punk. Woo! Dang it. Gotta get him off that bike, dude. Ah, oh, missed. Oh, bad timing. Dang it, dude. Dang it, dude. Alright, alright. I got him this time. Nope. Bad timing. Oh my gosh, it's so hard. All right. Oh my gosh. Try it. There we go. Oh my gosh. Throwing freaking bombs at me. I need a big chicken meal. Crap, I got the bar! Chicken mill, chicken mill, no! Oh, boss. Oh, snap. Got like no health. Chicken dinner, chicken dinner! No, it's just an apple. Still help. They're cheering them on. They're cheering them on in the background. Oh, crap. I forgot that happened. Uh. Uh. They got me. Alright, still got three lives, though. We need the chicken. Uh, the special moves? Probably not anymore. I probably did when I was a kid. I know about the, uh, this.
Dang it! The apricot. Chicken dinner! Chicken dinner! Oh, dang it. Come on, don't waste my chicken dinner like that, bro. Can't see a shadow as good as you could on the CRT. That's how you knew if you are on the right level with them. It's harder to see with these pixels. driver. Ooh, I didn't think he was going to do it again that quick. Dang, son. Wasting my life. One health bar down. It'll probably refill though. Dang it. Oh, we got him. I don't think it is gonna refill. Nice. Woo! I hate that guy. Yeah, me too, dude. Try forward, forward punch. All right, all right, all right. Yeah! That is one of them. Heck yeah, that was one. Oh crap. Oh, you punk. Oh, the arcade! Bare Knuckles, which was the name of this game in Japan. That's the arcades that are in there. Apparently we got censorship in our versions, I always heard. I don't know if there's blood or a booby, I don't know what... I don't know what it was. Anybody in chat know? I always heard that it was the Bare Knuckles, the Japanese version, was uncensored. We got like a censored version. Oh, 
Get out of there. Back up to three lives. Yeah, he fell right in my lap. Oh crap, mini boss. Get out of there, get out of there. Nice. Perfect timing on that. Come on, my flaming fist should have got him. He should have overpowered that. Got him. Whew. Getting intense. 4-4-B. Uh, that just did a jump. Or actually, 4-4-B is what I'm doing here, yeah. That's that one. Ooh, apple, apple, apple. No, 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 let me get my apple, don't. Everybody stay away from my apple. We're on the pirate ship now. We're getting pretty far. I feel like we're getting, ooh, an extra life, dang, son. We got four lives now, we're doing good. That guy. Oh, stick out with the sword. Okay, give me a sword, son. Like Cyclops looking piece of crap. Kmart version of Cyclops, that guy. Alright. Disney World. See the Disney castle back there? Up, dude. Ooh, ooh. Freaking whip lady. Lisa. L. Lisa. I like how each of them have a name, by the way. That was a nice touch. Got me. I just wasted the apple. Like two bosses at the same time, bro. It's where the difficulty of the game spikes. Uh. Killed the girl. Oh my gosh! Dang it! One more. There we go. Alright, here we go. I always like this level. Aliens. Oh, I didn't remember that they exploded. What the heck? Chicken dinner! I need it! Yeah, son! Yeah, I didn't remember they exploded. It against the baddies. Yeah, like this mist effect looked really cool on a CRT, guys, I swear. Doesn't look as cool when you're playing in HD. Did anybody play Streets of Rage uh, 4? 
the Sega release not too too long ago. Backward attack, hold B, then press C. Yeah, I do remember that. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I did that earlier. <laughs> Xenomorph chicken. That's right. Xenomorph fetus. This was back in the day when Xenomorph was in every video game. Alien apple? Yes, please. Crap. Oh, the aliens attack me now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hang it, dude. This alien's gonna tear me up. Oh my gosh, guys! I got it. I got it. Smack him away. Smack him away. Smack the alien away. Smack him away. Get away from me, alien. Got him. Dang it, dude. Almost got him. No, 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 no. Wasted a life. There, we got him. Sword back. Well, we got Blanca from Street Fighter now. Ooh, a full chicken! A full chicken! I don't know how long it stays up. I kind of want to save it for a second because this guy's going to take a lot of health. I don't know how long it stays there. I don't remember. Oh, I need it now. I need it now. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Oh, I thought he was going to dive towards me. gonna have two bars of health too. Only got two lives left. We're close to the end. Come on, that should have hit him. Oh my gosh. Dang it! There we go. Alright, last bar of health for him. He's tearing me up though, boys. Oh man, there's another life. One life left. Dude, he's tearing me up. This guy always gave me trouble. There we go. Oh, that should have hit him. Dude, he's tearing me up. No, oh, come on. Oh, come on. That should have hit him, dude. I'm getting ripped off. Okay, he's almost down. He's almost down. Dang it. No, Axel. No. Oh. Alright, we're going to go for Axel again. We, gotta con we still got continues. Still got continues. I don't know how many continues you get. I don't remember. Alien Pinot Eat His Son. Does Xenomorph ever uh, frighten you at any point in your life? Yeah, in the original Alien for sure. Wait for one minute. You're abducted by aliens. I know, dude. Now we're headed for the Sega Stadium. Like, randomly. I think it was supposed to be a part of a theme park, but also real? I don't really know. What was up with aliens? They didn't have to explain as much in the 90s. It's like boo. Oh crap. 
You guys charge him with knives. Dang it, come on now. So I'm just getting beat up now. Dude, that guy just wasted an entire life with that knife running back and forth. Oh my gosh, there he goes again. He's literally going to rip me apart. There's not much I can do. There's so many other guys. There we go. Baseball. Food up here in the trash, though. Dang it! Come on, man. There is an apple. Don't let me get to it. Dang it, dude! Your stupid uppercut. I don't need the apple now. Punk. I might actually be able to beat this. Whip Lady and she's electric. I forgot that part. Oh, too short. Went close enough. Mmm, they're tearing me up. I right, had two lives. Killed her? Yeah! Oh my gosh! Oh, 
Oh, this guy. <laughs> we, got, we got Fat Boy. Oh, Big Van. Oh, dang it. Alright, we still got him. Okay, his final health of our... Coming from a big band, that same attack, bro. Got him. Baseball level over. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, you're talking about Boo, the, uh, listen, dude. You know. You know what happened there. The classic elevator level. I don't know if this was the first elevator level that started all that or not, though. I'm not sure. It's definitely one of the early ones, though. doing good. Oh, this should knock that guy back. I knocked him right into him. Bad situation to be in. the end of it. Jeez. Oh my gosh! This is a lot of baddies, bro. How long is this elevator? Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. One life. One day we will know what happened to Manager Giant Space Answer Boo. The dreaded elevator level that all beat em ups have, yep. I feel like that might have been the first time, maybe. Oh snap, we're in the cage ring. We're in the ring, we're in the ring. Cage match. I'm gonna save that chicken if I can a little while. Okay, I might have to get it, because he's gonna push me away from it. Two health bars. Dang it. Boom! Okay, he's got three health bars. Come on, no! Oh! I might have to not jump kick this guy. Oh, I'm out of range. Oh, come on, no! Alright. Well, how many continues I got left, boys? I think this might be the last one. We almost got him. Oh, if I'd just been a second sooner. Trick them. There it is! Ha ha! Abba Daddy! Woo! Yeah, Axel versus Ultimate Warrior. That was it, dude. That was it. That was, that was the Ultimate Warrior. Stage 5, the last one, I think. 
I think it is. It might go to six, I don't remember. Oh, big boy, big man, crap. It's gonna be harder with a bunch of these minions around. Oh, come on. Nonsense. Okay, got a little bit of health back. I messed up! Dang it! There we go. Okay, here we go again. Mr. Karate Champion here. Dang it, dude. Oh! Got five lives. That's pretty good. I didn't realize I got so many extra lives. There we go. Santa Claus? Hang on. It does sound like Santa Claus. I think he's saying... Hang on. Hang on. Sounds like Random Paul to me. Random Paul! I wonder what he is saying. Crap. Guess we're making me miss out on chicken dinners that are in these boxes. See the chicken dinner? I can't even pick it up, you freaking jerks! There's a freaking chicken dinner! My favorite freaking food in the game. Trash chicken. Can't even pick it up because of you jerks. Alright, alright. Alright, Wayne. What kind of name is Wayne for a big... Boss, anyway. Santa Claus! Oh, I missed. Oh my gosh, guys, quit. You're being mean. Uh, another life down, dude. Dang. Santa Claus! Santa Claus! Santa Claus! Santa Claus! Ah. You should have believed. Can you get that axe? No. Oh lord, this guy again? No. No. Why? One time was enough. 
<laughs> He's so annoying. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, got him. I'm trying to deal with all these other guys. I don't need... I don't need you doing all that. Oh boy. This guy's so annoying. Don't take another of my lives, dude. Don't take another of my lives. Just just die, dude. Just die. Just make it simple. Just make it simple, dude. Oh come on. Oh come on, that jump kick should have got him. It's a scan. Ah, oh, we got him, we got him. Ooh. Dang, son. Two lives. Final level, I think, though. Like, there's another part to this level, I think, and that's the end. If I remember right. It's been a really long time, though. What's up, Dwimble? We about to beat this game, son. Probably my most played Sega Genesis game. Well, I don't know. I played Mortal Kombat a lot. It's up there. Ooh, they're dropping bombs. They're dropping bombs. They're dropping bombs. Ninja stars. There's too many of you. Everybody just needs to calm down. Thanks, son. Oh my gosh. Not good. No, not the sword, dude. Oh my gosh, last life. I don't even know if I got any continues left either, guys. Santa Claus. Oh boy. Fat boy. Try to kill these before fat boy gets on us. This stupid bull crap. Okay, dude. Oh my gosh, I messed that up. Oh, yeah, this guy spits fire. I forgot about that. Ooh, not good. Gotta just tear him up quick. Oh, God. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I remember this guy. Chicken dinner. Chicken dinner. He just wasted my chicken dinner. Look at the way he walks, dude. His animation's top notch. Get out of the way, get out of the way, dude. Woo! Oh no! My range was off! Dude, I'm gonna get tore up. I don't know if I'm gonna get 10 years left. This guy's got two bars of energy. Woo! Oh my gosh, that other guy needs to die. No. Please let me have one more continue, please. No. Dude, we made it so far. We made it so far. We made it so far, dude. We made it so far. Look, there I am. CCC. You see me up there? That's me. That's me. CCC. Number one. Mm. Not bad. If we had it on easy mode, we would have we would have slayed that. We were, like, really close to the end. That, that's a good game. Streets of Rage is freaking awesome. All right, what are we doing next, guys? It's getting a little late. It's 11.30. 12.30 for people on Eastern. I think we'll call it here for our... That was super fun, though, guys. I love doing Retro Night. Thanks, everybody, for coming out tonight. I got split into two parts because my wife actually walked in and told me goodnight and actually turned off 
all the power, so we lost the first half, so it ended up being two parts to tonight. Um, that was super fun. Best of all time. I love playing some retro games, and like I said, guys, I've got every Sega Genesis, every Nintendo game, every Super Graphics game, every 32H game, every 64 game, every Jaguar game, um, and I think I mentioned them all. Uh, so it, we've got literally the rest of our lifetime to play some retro games on Wednesday nights. Maximum Carnage? Yeah, we'll, we'll do that next week. Um, throw that in as a suggestion for next week. Cool man, thanks. This was fun. Yeah, I love this. I'm glad you guys enjoy it, too. It's really cool to relive these classics and uh, experience them and see how much fun gaming used to be. It just was pure. It was pure gaming. Uh, there was no nonsense. It was just good old smashing your thumbs on some controllers. Uh, it was awesome, man. Let's do this more often. Well, I'm going to plan on doing it every Wednesday, and if something gets canceled, I don't have anything else I can think of. Um, and I don't feel like I can get a group of embers kind of thing, then we'll, we'll jump on and do this. And yeah, we'll, we'll add more to the collection. I don't know if I have Saturn up and ready. I have PlayStation on here, but I only put my favorite RPGs on here for now. Um, however, uh, we will, uh, maybe. PlayStation takes up a ton of space, so we may have to find another thing. He's beating every game, one at a week, I think, at random. Have you seen the guy who beats all the N64 games on YouTube? I've seen that, yes. I've seen a lot of people doing that. It's really cool where they'll be like, I'm going to play every game on this system. And they'll work their way through it. Now, trying to beat every game. Oh, I do know you're talking about the guy beating all the 64. Dude, that's hardcore. Like, he's going to have to beat that one game we played today, Iuden Chronicles. And Turok is hard to play. I think if I, if I, think if I'd have had my real 64 controller, Turok would have felt better. But playing it on um, a modern controller is rough because it was built for this specific controller. Tales of Destiny? Yeah, that's a really good game, dude. All these are, these are my favorite RPGs. Uh, and some of them, I know they're good, I haven't beat them. Lundra, Lundra 2, Beyond the Beyond, dude, I don't care what nobody says, that's a good one. Uh, As Your Dreams, Breath of Fire 3, Breath of Fire 4, of course, Darkstone, which I always wanted to complete, never have. Uh, Dragon Valor, Final Fantasy Tactics, never beat that one, no, I got to. Grandia, I don't know why it doesn't have the, uh, well, the reason it doesn't have the box art is because this is actually a, uh, uh, a better translation, if I remember right. Uh, Grand Stream Saga, The Legend of Lagaya, Star Ocean 2, which we're getting that remake. It's going to be sick. Both the Lunar games, dude. Freaking, these are so good. Sui Coden 1, Sui Coden 2. Um, those are getting remakes next year. That's going to be awesome. Tales of Destiny, Tales of Destiny 2, and one of the best RPGs on the PlayStation, Xeno Gears. If you have never played this game and you like stories, then play it. This is just a insanely good game. Uh, yeah, a little bit of Sega Saturn be nice. I don't know if I can get them all on here, but maybe some, like the top 20 best Saturn games, something like that. No, I love Beyond the Beyond. It's hard, but, you know, that artist died. He did a lot of really good stuff, man. The artist for Beyond the Beyond, he did the Shining series. Um, he did he did a lot of stuff, man. Uh, and I love his art style. It's very unique, and I love the art style Beyond the Beyond. That's one of, I love that game. I think it's awesome. Can we fry Uden Chronicles? Heck yeah, dude. The true spiritual successor. Yeah, man. That's the only reason they delayed Sui Coden 1 and 2, obviously, was because Iden Chronicles coming out. They wanted Sui Coden to release near it uh, because they're just trying to steal some of their glory, right? Because Konami doesn't make cool games anymore. They just live off the past, which is fine. I'm happy we're getting the Sui Coden 1 and 2 remakes, but they should release this year. There's no reason for them to push it back just to, you know, try to take some Iden Chronicles sales. That's messed up. Uh, I'm using multiple emulators, but I'm using a front loader called, um, what is this called? Uh, uh, snap. Uh, Launch Launchbox. Launchbox is uh, super cool, man. It's super cool. Makes emulation and stuff feel cooler uh, and feel more legit because, you, you know, it downloads all this stuff for you. So you got all the box cover art and all that. And all you got to do is find the games which I went through and meticulously got all the games for all these systems so far, and we'll have more to collection on other systems as we go. Um, oh, Iuden Chronicles, bro? Yeah, yeah. That's going to be good. No, they work. It's just that, you know, starting an RPG isn't really ideal for what we do on this channel unless somebody pays to see it, and then I'll do it. But anyway, guys, thanks, everybody. Have a great night. I'll see you guys next Wednesday for more Retro Night. We'll be streaming tomorrow night, Thursday Probably, 
I don't know what we'll do tomorrow night, man, but I will do a stream uh, at my normal time here in the evening. And then Friday, we've got EverQuest P uh, P99. Saturday, um, we had to switch things up. Saturday, I'm hoping we can get together for some WoW Classic. And then Sunday night, we're doing um, our, our Cringegate. Cringegate got to move to Sunday because Steve wasn't available Saturday. So uh, thank you all. Everybody have a great night. Thanks for the support. Thank you all for coming out. And until next time, my friends, God bless and happy gaming. Bye, everybody.